Buju, and welcome back to Buju Nana Buju, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. Ho wa! It's really raining out here. Give me one, give me one. It is raining. Today is Ojibwe word of the day. Give me one. It is raining. I just thought I'd come out here real quick and teach an Ojibwe. I guess it's a phrase of the day more than a word. It is raining. Give me one. Give me one. It is raining. Soon it will be snowing. Zukipun. We Zukipun. It will snow. But not today, it's just raining. It's raining again. Let's see, do I know any good raining songs? Love, rain on me. That was by the who. Who? Yes. What? No. Who? What? (laughs) The who. They made stuttering kind of cool. They pre- that was back in the days when stuttering was was kind of a cool way to sing. Talking about generation. David Bowie did that too. Changes turn and face the strange changes. Benny and the Jets. A lot of stutterers in uh, popular music. When I was a little guy, I used to stutter. I had a stutter. I was just so, I was so nervous all the time. It all started in uh, elementary. It wasn't until I went to school. In kindergarten, I was okay. But... When I entered first grade, now you're using the bathrooms with the big kids. And I'd heard stories about kids getting jumped. And uh, (laughs) so I was afraid to use the bathroom when I was little. And uh, what was the other thing? Why did I stutter? I used to go to a speech therapist. There's this guy who would come to the school. And he'd bring like a deck of cards. He's like, okay, Michael, you have to leave class and go to your speech therapist. Learn how to talk right. So you quit. Quit. uh, Did I just call myself Michael? I meant Nana (laughs) Bushu. So you quit talking wrong. And we'd go and we'd. He'd have a tape recorder there and then we'd play cards. And half an hour later, he'd bring me back to the class. And I had a deal with uh, my, my teacher. This was by third grade, Mrs. Smith. If I got a good report from the speech therapist, if he said I did a good job, she would draw me a cartoon with a Sharpie marker and an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. She drew these perfect Snoopy cartoons. Just a quite, no words, just quiet picture of Snoopy, like looking at a, a leaf falling from a tree. And pretty soon I had like six or seven of these cartoons and I hung them up on the wall in my bedroom. Those were the days when I, when I learned that uh, cartoons were a thing like art and could also be a, a present. You know, if you like to draw cartoons, it, there's nothing more heartwarming than like a get well cartoon. If you're, if your grandma's sick or something, draw her, draw her a cartoon and and write get well soon, grandma. I love you, and a funny drawing of anything. You could draw a funny picture of her, funny picture of yourself. It doesn't even matter. Draw a funny picture of a monkey, holding a flower. Get well soon, grandma. It doesn't, you know, anything. I've always loved cartoons. 
One of these days, we should interview Michael Lyons. He's a rock star cartoonist. See what he thinks. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll get old Natasha to do it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in. Boop, boop, boop. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Bonjour. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hi, Donna Bushy. What are you doing? I'm just out here in the rain. I was teaching the Ojibwe phrase of the day. Did you teach him, give me one, it is raining? Yeah, I sure did. Give me one. It is raining. Awesome. Okay, well, hang on. I'll, I'll scan for your coordinates. Okay. And lock it in on your coordinates. <laughs> All right. Now that's one to teleport. <laughs> nah. Make it so, number one. <laughs>